Today I'm going to show you exactly how much cash we pocketed by selling put and call options as well as collecting dividends last month in August. I'm also going to talk through three of my favorite trades that will help you see how you can use options to generate awesome cash flow every month in your account. I'm Randy Perez. I'm a 21 plus year stock and option trader as well as real estate investor. If you're already a member of our community, thank you for setting aside a part of your day to be here. If you're not already a member of this community, go ahead and click that subscribe button and bell notification. You'll be joining a community of traders and investors that are helping each other become more knowledgeable and profitable. Let's get right into last month's cash flow. The total net cash flow we put into our pocket by selling put and call options as well as collecting dividends last month was $10,515.64. Here you see every single trade that we did last month in August. The trades that have the blue boxes around them are the ones we're going to discuss in this video. As you can see, we made quite a few trades last month. I like to keep a very diversified portfolio so that if I have a position or two that goes really south against us, it doesn't have that much of an effect on our overall portfolio. Here at the bottom in the red box, you see that as a result of selling options, we collected a net of $10,042. In the column to the right of that, you see that we were charged $68.36 in commissions for our trades. And there in the larger blue box at the bottom, we collected $542 in dividends on two of our stocks, AbbVie and Lazard. So the total net cash flow we put into our pocket was just over $10,515. That equates to a 22.8% annualized return for our overall portfolio. Please keep in mind that we do not use leverage or margin. So this is truly a non-leveraged return. What's your next monthly cash flow goal by selling options and trading stocks? In the comments below, let me know what your next monthly cash flow goal is. And keep in mind, no amount is too small. We all have to start somewhere. The important thing is that you're progressing. I have found that by sharing my goals with others, it's a great motivator in helping me improve my trading as well as my cash flow. So please share your next goal in the comments below and stay tuned in until the end of this video where I'll update you on a position that I know many of you are interested in, my Disney Leap option position. We are up over 155% on this one position in just the past six months. And I'll share with you all the details so you can do a similar trade to the one that we did using Leap options. As many of you probably know, typically in my videos, I talk about the trades that aren't going as planned. The reason for that is because I feel like as option traders, we learn best from others' mistakes or working through our own problems. But I thought today we might take a different approach. Today I'm going to share with you three of my best and favorite trades I did this past month, as well as the lessons that we can learn from each one of them. The first trade I want to talk to you about is in Dow Chemical. Dow is a chemical manufacturing company that I've been trading put and call options on since back in January. Like many stocks, back in March, Dow Chemical crashed from $50 per share down to around $22 per share. As you can see here on the screen, the March $45 strike puts that we sold for $0.40, cents, well, we had to buy them back for over $14 per share on March the 10th. Here is where experienced trading options comes into play. I knew that the market and Dow had experienced a really hard and fast crash. Now I fully expected the recovery to take a whole lot longer than it has. But I knew that I could still continue rolling these options as long as the stock wasn't put into my account and generate decent cash flow in the position. Notice our trade here. We had to pay $14.19 to buy back the put option that expired in March, but we sold the same strike price $45 puts that expire in June. For that sale, we received $15 per share. We were able to put into our pocket just over $0.80 cents per share. No, this is not a phenomenal return. It's just a 7.2% annualized return. But notice that coupled with rolling this short put option, I also decided to sell a short-term naked call option. We sold the April $42.5 call option on March 19th that expired in 30 days. For that, we received an additional 28 cents per share. I'm not encouraging you to sell naked call options, but in a scenario like this, 
I felt comfortable selling a naked call option because it was a relatively small position and I knew that if the stock did come roaring back up, then I'd be making almost penny for penny profit on that short put option that I sold that expired in June. So I really wasn't too worried about a naked call option, but at the point that I sold it at, that naked call option was 30% out of the money. I knew the likelihood of, of Dow climbing 37% over the next 30 days was pretty small. But I did keep an eye on this trade to make sure that it didn't come roaring past my short call option strike price. You'll see it eventually, that eventually it did come past the short call option strike price as I continued to roll it. And that's why I want to mention this trade to you, to show you how it turned out in this past month. Selling that short naked call option drastically improved my cash on cash return in this overall position. So we continue to roll both the short put and short call options over over the past six months. Finally, Dow Chemical was back at the price where I began trading at initially back in January. With the daily chart in a very strong uptrend now, I wanted to get out of this short naked call option position. I tried to get out of it last month, but right before expiration day, the call option went in the money. So I bought it back and was on the lookout for an opportunity to close out this short call option position for next to nothing if possible. On August 20th, that happened. I was able to close the August 45 short call option for 10 cents. Notice the defensive move that we made on the short call option back in July. I could tell that the stock was in a nice strong uptrend, so I was really trying to look for opportunity to get out of this short call option position without having to come out of pocket a bunch of cash to do that. I tried to get out in July, but it just didn't work out. So knowing that the stock was in a pretty good uptrend, I rolled my short call strike price up from $42.5 to $45. You see on my spreadsheet that on July 18th, I bought to close the July $42.5 call option for $1.06 and sold to open the August 45 strike option for $1.68. I was able to do that for a credit. And then 30 days later, I was able to close out my August $45 strike call option for 10 cents. I'm not a huge fan of selling naked call options, but when a stock crashes as hard as Dow Chemical did, I knew volatility would allow me to sell some call options at a decent premium, which is what I did here. You just have to watch a position like this more closely. Now we are back to our original position, just short a put option on the stock. In all, by staying calm, even during a huge stock crash, using a naked call option, which I don't use very often, we've been able to generate really nice cash flow on this position. Staying calm when things don't go your way and thinking with a clear head, that goes a long way towards being a profitable option trader. The next trade I want to talk about is in Medtronic, ticker symbol MDT. Medtronic is a dividend aristocrat that is one of the largest medical device companies in the whole world. It's a company I've been trading since May. We've been receiving really nice option premiums on the stock. We are able to do this again in August. With Medtronic trading above all four moving averages on the daily and weekly charts, I felt comfortable buying to close the $95 strike short put option and selling to open the $100 at the money put option for August. It cost us 29 cents per share to buy back the August $95 strike puts and we sold to open the third Friday of the month, September, 100 strike put options for $3.10. So we were able to put into our pockets $2.81 per share. If you annualize that cash flow, if we were able to do this exact trade every month over the next 11 months, we would pocket $32.72 per share in this stock. That produced a 33.7% annualized cash on cash return. One of the main reasons why I felt comfortable selling this put at the money is because of the current stock price in reflection to the four moving averages. If you'd like more information on how to use moving averages to pick strike prices, check out the video in the link above in the description below entitled, How to Trade Using Technical Analysis. Next, we're going to talk through another trade we did this past month that you can do also that is paying us 33% annualized. But if you're liking the video, why don't you do me a favor and tap the thumbs up button. It helps support the channel and it means a lot to me. And stay tuned in until the end of this video where I will give you an update on our Disney Leap Call Option position. I will share with you one of the few ways I like to actually buy options instead of just selling them. This is a trade that we have been in for quite a while and the returns are awesome. The third trade I want to talk through is in a sector that's still pretty beaten down the market. Overall, the market has recovered a lot, 
but the real estate sector is still beaten down in certain areas. I like real estate. I just don't particularly like real estate management anymore. That's why I've been investing in REITs as I sold off some of my other rental properties. This next trade is in Realty Income, ticker symbol O. Realty Income was founded in 1969 by a husband and wife team. As one of the first REITs, Realty Income started with a single Taco Bell property, but it now owns more than 6,400 properties across the U.S. that are leased to about 300 commercial tenants in 50 different industries. The company owns retail properties, industrial warehouses, offices, and farmland. All of Realty Income's properties are under long-term triple net lease agreements, which gives it a solid cash flow while freeing it from the burden of paying for maintenance, utilities, insurance, and taxes. They have paid uninterrupted dividends monthly since 1969 and increased their dividend each year since going public in 1994. As such, I want to own some of this company. With Realty Income trading right around the 50 and 200 moving average on both the daily and the weekly charts, it looks as though it's trying to consolidate to make another push higher. I like the fundamentals of the company. I like how much cash they have available during these challenging times. So after researching the company in depth, I decided to sell some put options at the $60 strike price. If you'd like more information on how I pick the strike prices that I sell put and call options at, check out the videos in the link above in the description below entitled How to Trade Using Technical Analysis and Multiple Time Frame Support and Resistance. Using technical analysis as well as multiple time frame support and resistance, I decided to sell the $60 third Friday of September put options. As you can see, for that we received an average of $1.66 per share. If you annualize that return unleveraged, it's a 33.7% annualized return. I already own some of this company in my retirement account, and I'd love to own some here in my main trading account. So if the stock is put into our account, I'll be happy to own it. If not, then I'm more than happy to be making an over 33% annualized return by selling put options on it. I know real estate is something that is necessary, so we know that a company like this is not just going to go away overnight. It's backed by real hard physical assets. At the beginning of this video, I told you I would give you an update on our Disney Leap Call option position. I don't buy options very often, but this is one of the few techniques I use to buy options. And you'll see why I love using Leap options so much. They can generate awesome cash flow and at the same time produce returns that make even the best traders smile. Here is our current Leap Call option position in Disney. As you can see, the current value of this position is $35.40. Initially, we bought the January 2022 $85 leap call option, which is now worth almost $52. At the same time, we sold the January 2022 $150 leap call option, which is now worth $14 per share. Since then, we've been selling short-term one and two month call options against this position. The most recent short-term call option we sold, you see here, is the September 18th $135 call option. It is now worth $2.55, so our overall current value in this position is $35.40 per share. Notice our cost basis in this Leap Call Option Disney position is $1,387.74. If you divide that by the 100 shares, our cost basis is $13.87 per share. That means that we are currently up $21.53 per share on this position. A couple weeks ago on August 20th, we bought to close the August $130 strike call option for $0.19. Cents. We sold to open the third Friday of the month September $135 call option and received $1.29 per share. That means we put into our pocket $1.10 per share. If you annualize that cash on cash return, if you're able to do a similar trade every month for the next 11 months, we'd be netting cash a 95% annualized return. That is an insane return. Now keep in mind that if for some reason Disney's below $85 per share in January of 2022 and we are still in this position, this position will be worthless. So there is the potential for a complete loss in this position. On the other hand, if we are able to collect $1.10 per share for about the next 13 months, then we'll have raised enough cash to be in this position for free. Our current cost basis is $13.87 per share. And every month, as I roll that short-term call option, that cost basis will decline. This is a position that you need to be careful if you decide to do a similar trade. Because notice that we're only along one long-term leap call option, but we're short two call options. 
So it's a position that we are monitoring more closely than some of our naked put positions or covered call positions. But you can see the insane returns that leap options can generate. This position initially cost us $17.34. Our cost basis is now down to $13.87. However, the value of this position is $35.40 per share. So we're already up 155% on this position in just the past six months. If you'd like more information on our exact trades, consider becoming a patron in the link below. You'll be receiving some awesome information every week that you can use to become a better, more profitable option trader, all while supporting this channel. And a quick shout out and a big thank you to our current Patreon members, as well as Jason, our newest Patreon member. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. Check out the videos in the link above and the description below for more information on the monthly cash flow we receive by selling options and collecting dividends. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.